welcome back royals to part three of my fire and desire series this week i am sharing with you five and i even threw in one extra bonus videos all dedicated to the season of love we are smack dab in the middle guys this is hump day and i want to give you some valentine gift giving and receiving ideas i will be sharing with you some gift ideas for the king as well as some gift ideas for the queen and today i'm excited about this video for a number of reasons for one Valentine happens to be my second favorite time of the year, second to Christmas, of course. I love love and I love when it's just in the air and couples are coupling and singles are loving on themselves and we're just doing all of the things that represent the love that we share one for another. So this is one of my favorite times of year. And number two, guys, I have partnered with, yet again, one of my favorite, favorite um companies. I oftentimes bring you guys different products, but they're only based on things that I absolutely love. I would never share anything that your girl does not love or use on a regular basis. And when the company reached out to me for a second time, I was all in and it could not come at a more better time. And that is none other than my lovely friends over at, are you ready? Drum roll, please. Teddy Blake, you guys. Now, gift giving number one, a gift number one, a number one choice, honey. I don't know what queen does not love a fabulous handbag. And that is to me an ultimate gift giving idea. So if your kings are watching, if your sisters are watching and you wanna give your guys some ideas for a gift for yourself, throw out Teddy Blake, you guys. This company makes top notch fine leather handbags. When I tell you the quality is second to none, again, this is my second collab with them. I have one beautiful handbag and I am so thrilled to add this beauty to my collection. So I'm gonna open it up and unbox it with you guys. As you can see, it's going to, of course it's gonna come in a actual delivery box, but once you open up the delivery box, this is how they deliver your luxury package to you guys. Absolutely gorgeous. So it's a storage box if you choose to keep it as such. And then upon opening it, you guys, it's just giving you all of the thrills and feels. Look inside. Teddy Blake knows how to deliver. Because to me, packaging is everything. So in addition to quality bags, they're going to make you feel like the queen that you are in the delivery of the bag. So upon receiving it, it's going to come in this beautiful little dust bag here. And I am so excited, you guys. I'm going to put the box down now because I want to show you what I selected. I really, the hardest part, you guys, for me was selecting one. I knew that I wanted a pop of color because it is the season of love. Your girl is rocking her big, her signature big hair and that pop of red Ruby Woo. If you didn't know, I love myself some Ruby Woo. So it is so fitting for this time of the year. So without any further ado, let me share with you the sexy little number that I selected for the Valentine's season. And it is none other than this beautiful Luna bag. How absolutely gorgeous is this, you guys? It's so dainty, and it definitely will pair well with a sexy little black number. If you're going out with the girls, you're doing Galentine's, you can use it as a crossbody, because guess what? It comes with a strap, an adjustable strap, you guys. I absolutely, hands down, love, love, love this bag. It is affordable luxury, you guys. Handmade in Italy. When I tell you Teddy Blake, spared no expense with the details of their bags. I'm gonna just give you a nice little close-up. It's gonna come with the name of the company embroidered on the front. I love this textured leather. This beautiful pop of red is not too, too bright, but it gives just enough of a bold statement to say she's arrived. And that is exactly what this bag is giving me. You can carry it as a cute little tote. You guys know that we're into the dainty bags now. They're definitely trending and you will be in the know. If you didn't want to opt for the strap, which you can if you want, and it just simply attaches guys i love this bag so excited so excited i held off because i've had it for a few weeks now but i've held off on carrying it or doing anything with it i did do an unboxing on instagram so if you're not following me on instagram do yourself a favor because they got a sneak peek y'all they saw it first so not that i don't love y'all but it's just instagram saw it first so let me get this attached on there easy peasy it is adjustable so if you wanted to carry it as a um, again, a crossbody because you can adjust the straps or adjust the strap, a shoulder strap, but your girl is going to rock it tote style. Real cute, dainty, grown and sexy like. But let me show you guys the good, good part. As if the bag was not cute and dainty enough. Look at this. I absolutely love, love, love this. How fabulous, guys. You can house your handbag, I mean your, your 
cell phone, your makeups, perfumes, get into that later. Whatever you need in here, a lip, of course my Ruby Woo has the little pocket inside, I love it. Has a little pouch for your credit cards or what, or what have you, your driver's license, but I love this bag, you guys. So I wanna thank Teddy Blake for sending me over this beautiful, beautiful addition to my handbag collection. This is definitely going top shelf, honey. I love her. I love her. I will leave you guys my discount code and my in the description box along with a link to the website so you can shop to your heart's content or just share it with your boo so they can shop to their heart's content for you. So that, you guys, is gift number one. Who doesn't love a good handbag? Teddy Blake, that is. I love it, you guys. Again, I'm not trying to sell you on something. I'm letting you know what your girl is rocking. And so for me, Teddy Blake is top notch, okay? So I'm gonna give you three gifts for her, three gifts for him, and maybe even a bonus for y'all, okay? So, what else do, does a woman love more than a good handbag? Your girl loves to smell good, okay? So, that brings me to another company that I've worked with quite frequently, and that is none other than Dossier. You guys, I have been working with Dossier quite a while, and I absolutely love them they are a designer inspired brand they carry fragrances from niche companies that parallel in sense and performance not trying to sell you on it it is the truth i am actually wearing a layer combination right now i shared this with you guys on a recent shopping haul and i absolutely loved 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 it and i have been wearing this combination out for quite some time and it is none other than the Oriental Tobacco, which is inspired by, and I'll just drop who it's inspired by, okay? And the Spicy Vanilla. You guys, this combination is oh so sexy. So I will drop the um, each one of the fragrances as well as what they're inspired by, and they perform like no other. When I wear this, you guys, the compliments are endless all day long, literally. I absolutely love this combination. And so in addition to the Spicy Vanilla and the um, Oriental Tobacco, I have a few other of my favorite because I do have an avid collection of theirs because again, I only do I work with them when we collab. I purchase from them on my own because I really do love the performance of their scents. Another one that is trending right now is Tom Ford's Lost Cherries. And if you don't want to break the bank and plunge on that $400, get yourself some Oriental Cherry from Darcier. Absolutely amazing performance just like the fragrance, the niche fragrance, it is y'all. Thank me later. So there is another idea. If you don't want to spend the money, if this is a self-love gift, you don't want to splurge like that, you can get this Oriental Cherry, you can get the Oriental Tobacco, you can get the Spicy Vanilla, any of the ones that I'm mentioning at a fraction of the cost of price range, but Darcier is $29 to $49, guys. You cannot beat it, but definitely you will thank yourself when you purchase these fragrances. Just trust me. Don't don't take my word for it. Try it. And what I love about Darcia is that they're going to send you a package of the actual fragrance. They're going to come in this nice little packaging with a magnetic lid, but they're going to give you a sample so you can try it before you buy it. So if you don't want to commit to the $49, $29, whatever you spend on it, you can simply send this bottle back and then you have the, the tester that you could try to see if that works for you. But I absolutely love them, okay? Now, in addition to Darcier, your girl is an avid fragrance lover. So I have a pretty decent collection. I'm rebuilding my collection, shall I say. And I'm going to share with you two that I absolutely love. Again, these are just ideas. I will let you know if you're wondering what type of scents that I go for. Because it's really hard to gauge when you're watching um, fragrance videos or someone giving you um, their opinion on fragrances. It's hard to gauge if you don't know what their typical scents are their 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 flair for scents are i am a bold sweet sexy a little bit of an oriental floral but not so much but an oriental um sweet scent will get me every time or an oriental floral i will go in that direction but it has to have that strong base of an oriental scent to me a spicy note in there but i love a bold sexy sweet scent so most of the scents that i recommend are going to be in that realm now i do have my soft sensual scents that i call my bedtime scents or whatever because i love to smell good even when i go to bed but for my date nights or when i want to woo the boo it's going to be bold and bodacious like your girl, okay? So all of the scents that I'm talking about are heavy hitters. They will definitely turn heads. And so one of my favorites 
that I would consider a sexy date night scent right now is Hypnotic by Dior. You guys, this is one of my all-time classic scents. I have purchased some of the newest scents. I have purchased some of the older classics, but none of them. You know how you buy scents and then it'll kind of like push a few fragrances off your list? Nothing has pushed Dior off my list, baby. Hypnotic is the truth. And they have several different um, options for the hypnotic to choose from. But this one right here, this poison, works for me. I love it. It's bold. It's bodacious. It's sexy. It's sensual. It's all the things that you think of when you think Valentine. So get yourself a bottle and thank me later. Okay? Now, if you want to go a little softer, a little more sensual, a little sexy, but a little understated sexy, then this one is a choice for you. And this is none other than Valentino. You guys, this scent right here is so sexy. It's a feminine, powdery, sensual scent. It's bold, but it's understated. It's not going to grab you like the, like the hypnotic will, but it definitely will turn heads. I absolutely love wearing this one to bed. If I'm just going like a cute little day date, there's something soft and sensual. This one is a go-to. Again, it's real powdery. It has a real sweet undertone, but it is definitely sexy. You're feeling the theme. It's all about fire and desire, honey. If it doesn't bring the heat, it's not going to make the list this year. So this, everything that I'm sharing with you guys, it brings the heat. Okay, so do yourself a favor and add some sexy fragrances to your collection. If you have some that you, you know, that are like your signature scents and you just want to add to, consider hypnotic, consider Valentino. Ooh, I love them i will drop the picture here and give you all of the all the details but i just want to share with you guys just some really fun cute ideas to get you ready guys it's i'm recording this on 2 22 and i'm just i'm feeling a certain kind of way this is something about a sequence of numbers that just really really get me and if you haven't noticed if i don't know if you can tell on the screen but this shirt you guys that i'm wearing is actually an anniversary shirt for my love and i and it says we decided on forever 8 18 18 i'm all about numbers i believe in the significance of the meaning and the oral that comes with them eight signifies the beginning it signifies infinity everlasting so that day was significant for me and with 222 oh my god 2222 i'm just feeling some kind of way so i was like yeah give the people give the people the the, the, the fire and desire on that day so that is why i chose to do this video on this day because it's just I'm feeling some kind of way, y'all. It's just a beautiful day. It's a beautiful season. It's a beautiful time. And I just want you guys to get into the love of it all, okay? And so I'm still on for her because I'm going to get over to the hymn. I'm not, I forgot about you, Kings. But I want to just give some ideas for the ladies. Again, we have handbags. We have fragrances. And what better do we love other than those two items, honey? And it is some wonderful flowers, of course. So that brings me to my next um, collaboration or my next company that I'm um promoting today and that is rose forever you guys i absolutely love this company these roses last forever like the name is literal this is a bundle this is the um the pink velvet box i think it's a three dozen and this particular one and i'm sharing this one because it's my favorite <laughs> and the, the, to show you that these roses are actually part of a, one of the first collab. I think this is the second collab that I did with them, which may have been almost two years ago. I took the lid off and the fragrance of the roses were still very, very prominent. You can still smell them. These are real roses. They have them especially preserved to last, they say, up to a year. But I'm showing you here that they last longer than a year. So if your guy wants to spoil you with some roses, get some that will last forever, sis. The rose forever. If you're not into like the big, big um, container as your girl is because I'm a go big or go home type of girl. So this one definitely caught my eye in this beautiful velvet um, pill box, but it also comes in a black velvet. It comes in a black, um, just a matte finished pill box. You can get them in different sizes and I'll share with you a couple of samples, but this one, everything y'all. And again, the roses still smell like fresh flowers. I was shocked because this one had been in my, um, my little, um, vanity area and I just took the lid off of it. I had some fragrances sitting on top. I took the lid off of it and the scent just permeated. So I was amazed by that. Here is another set. So if you didn't want to go with a large, large size, they also come in this size and in the black velvet box. Again, it's something that will last, you guys, for up to a year. And as you see, it lasts longer because this one is over a year old as well. They 
still smell just as fresh as they did the day that I got them. So Rose Forever. I will leave links and um, coupon codes to all of the all of the companies. And I'm going to show you one more from Rose Forever, you guys, just to give you a variety of the options that you can get from them. This is a vanity box, an acrylic vanity box. Look at this, how gorgeous. Again, real roses, especially preserved, last for up to a year. It has the acrylic lid. You can put that on the bottom and leave them open if you want, or you can put it on top and then house something on top. But what I'm loving about this one is that it has a compartment that you can put maybe like your jewelry, your makeup, fragrances, whatever you want. If you want to place it on your coffee table, you can slide your remote in there. Definitely get the biggest bang for your buck, but these will be wonderful Valentine gift ideas for you to have for years to come. Like, who wants something that's only going to last? I mean, of course, the candies are good and they're cute. Balloons are good and they're cute. Teddy bears are cute, but I, I like gifts that that'll bring me long love, you know, long memories. When I think of a fragrance that my honey got for me, it just brings a joy to me. One that I didn't share, but that he got for me and I absolutely love, and that's Burberry Hurt. Every time I spray it, it just gives me that Boo got this for me. He was thinking of me. He was just out, came home, surprised me with it, and I love it. So just little things like that. So fragrances can spark a certain feeling. You know, flowers, a certain type of flower can spark a certain memory. So things like that really gravitate for me. And honey, a handbag is just forever. Like, I love a good handbag. So I gave you one, two, three for the ladies. And so now we're going to go over to the guys, okay? Again, your guy if he's into sports, think about something, giving him something that's sports related or even giving him tickets to one of his favorite games or basketball, football, I know football is almost over. However, if he's into basketball, get him something that ties into something that he loves. I know for us, we all love a good handbag. So that will be our, our thing. For guys, just whatever your guy, your mate is into, give them that thing that they're into. Wallets, of course, would be a great idea. Um, what else would be a good idea for the guys? Because I have some here, but I just kind of want to throw some ideas out there. If you're thinking, what do I get my man for Valentine's? I know oftentimes we think about, you know, what we get as a women, but I think we should shower our, our kings with love as well because I have a good one, honey, and I let him know on a regular basis how much I love and appreciate him. And just, just like we love to receive gifts, they like receiving gifts too, even if it's just the little simple things, the act of service. Most guys are into things like that, like if they're into keeping their cars clean. Surprise them with having their car detail. If they're into barbecuing, get them something to add to their barbecue collection, their grill collection. If they're into gaming, get them one of their favorite games or a new control. Just anything that they're into, you know, because they watch and pay attention to other things that we love. We should do the same for them. And so that leads me into one of my favorite things to get my man, honey. Just like I like to smell good. I love for that king to smell good, baby. He come in there tall, dark, and handsome, smelling good and edible. Your girl is... Let me, let me, let me keep it. Let me keep it grown, sexy, and clean, okay? So, also from Dossier, they don't just think about the ladies with their um, niche fragrances or their inspired fragrances. They think about the kings, too. And one of my favorites for my king from Dossier is Woody Rum. You guys, this one right here is inspired by Kilian. Straight to heaven. And baby, that's where it takes you. You hear me? It's, it's everything. Like, oh my God. I'm gonna just give you some of the notes in case you're wondering, like, what does it smell like, okay? The top note for this is, of course, a rum, dry fruits, and a nutmeg, okay? The middle notes for this one, jasmine, cedarwood, and vanilla. That's what gets me every time. If it has a vanilla base on me or him, I'm all in, okay? And the base note is a patchouli, the amber, and the sandalwood. Nice rich, strong, grown money type of fragrance. Love it, okay? So, another one that I love for my man from them. And it's funny because I also have a bottle for me. I love this so much. It was like, now nah, my brother, you got to get your own. So, <laughs> spicy vanilla, one for me and one for him. I love this on him. It is a unisex, fra unisex fragrance by um, inspired by Tom Ford and it is amazing you guys it's amazing on me it's amazing on him but it's funny how it smells completely different on both of us for me I couple it with my ordinal tobacco and when I wear it by myself it's just a nice sexy spicy scent but on him it takes on a whole another level I think for him it brings out more of the sweet and you would think opposite for the girl or the guy but for me it brings out the spicy right 
for him it brings out the sweet sensual and I absolutely love this on him. The notes here are black pepper, that's the spicy, lemongrass, nutmeg, middle notes, roses, patchouli, and orris. The base notes here, vanilla, of course, amber, and aponox. You guys, this is an amazing fragrance for your king or you queen. You will thank me later. Again, I think this one ranges at $39.99 or something like that. But I'll, again, I will post every every scent on the screen for the king and for the queen. Okay? So in addition to those from Dossier, I just want to share with you some of the ones that I love on my king. Y'all, yeah. this is Versace Euros, honey. Absolutely amazing on the king. I love it, love it, love it. It's one of those scents that smells like old money, you know, like country club money. It's just, mm -hmm. it's a nice, rich, spicy scent. It has a sweet undertone, but you smell that grown, that grown man fragrance, you know what I mean? I love that. And my number one fragrance of all time for me, because I purchased this for my dad, my stepdad, my husband, I absolutely Love this scent, you guys. It is a staple. It is a classic, but it never dies. And that is none other than Pie by Givenchy. You guys, this scent on your man, baby, if you want to set it off, if you're talking about some fire and desire, this will take you right on in, baby. That right there, absolutely amazing, okay? So, now, I'll share with you gifts for the queen. I'll share with you gifts for the king. So, let's talk about some gifts for the two of you, just the two of us. Mm -hmm. That's what we on this year. So, I want to share with you some things that I think will be exciting and sensual and sexy. We know the typical dinner for two, who doesn't, right? You can make reservations, y'all can go out and get real cute if you trust in the life, you trust them streets like that. But if you like me and you're a little hesitant and you like, mm-mm, grown out there, I'm gonna keep it cute and stay at home and I'm gonna prepare a nice little sexy something at the house for me in the booth. That's just what I'm on. But you do what you're comfortable with. No judging, okay? So, I don't live in fear. I just, she ain't ready like that. Don't, not that I don't go out, you guys. I just, during that time, it's going to be a lot of going out. And so, I want to kind of stay in during that time. So, that is a good idea, of course. Your quintessential dinner, right? Another sexy idea is a spa date. If, if you feel comfortable going out to do a couple's massage, that's a good idea for the couples, right? But what's sexier than a nice intimate dinner at home and creating your own spa date? Let me tell you something. My sister Bree of Bree's Project Book, we just did a, um, a collaboration and it was to show some love where each of us in the dream team um, shared just ideas for the Valentine's season. You got tablescapes, you got dinner for twos, you got bedroom sets up, setups, but Bree brought the heat. Brie came with a bathroom spa setup that was, oh my God, honey, just amazing. And so, do you, I'm, ever, I'm gonna link her video just so you can get a little inspiration in case you're not understanding what I'm talking about when I say spa day in. She set it out, okay? You can do the same. Take your own space, lay out to a nice little rug, a blanket on the floor, get you some nice oil. I would suggest coconut because it's edible. Thank me later. And you can create your own little spa day. They make you a nice charcuterie board, lay out some grapes, the wines, the chocolates, you know, all of the things. All of the things that invoke fire and desire. Of course, you get your candles, you set the mood, and you got yourself some fire, okay? So that would be a good idea for couples. But what I love to do when I'm with my mate is to have thought-provoking conversations. To me, that is just, your mind is, to me, the sexiest part of, of a being, female or male. What you thinking like? Okay, you look good, all right? The physique is good. You smell good. But what, where is your mind? Like, what, 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 what's, what's up there? I like to go there. I love to have stimulating, thought-provoking conversations. Not so much as controversial when it's, when it's romance time. I don't want it to get too deep, you know, as far as politics and religion and all of that. Those things are important. But during this time, this is when he and I are alone. And he can pick my mind and I can pick his and we can do some things. You understand what I'm saying? So, this, you guys, is what my cousins and I, we love to get together as couples and have little couples nights. And so, we all got together. There is a company called Ace. I think it's Ace metaphor and they have a collection of um 
conversations cards and it's like little date night cards and it's different editions so each one of us got together and purchased a different edition so that when we come together as couples we have the whole collection together we'll rotate and let each other share the, the um the edition that they have and so i purchased talk um tonight let's talk the card game and it's the After Dark Edition. When I tell you, this card game is thought-provoking. It is emotional-provoking. It, it provokes all of the senses in a couple. And it is geared for couples, grown folks, after dark. Don't be letting little Ray Ray play with it, okay? Because they're not ready, all right? So, this, I'll link it in the description box, you guys. To me, is the ultimate... I don't want to say the word, but climax or ending to a great night. You, 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 you've gotten yourself together. You done put your face on. You done put your little sexy number on. You've done dinner at home or at a restaurant. Okay, I'm painting a picture for you. So you're smelling good. You're looking good. You've ate. You've eaten good, right? And so now you come home. You've done the massages. You've set in the mood, and you want to end it with a nice, thought-provoking night. And what what goes on from there, baby? That's between you them and God. Okay. But this right here will take you there. So thank me later. You guys, this video was so much fun to create. I just wanted to come to you with some ideas. Again, the the back the V-Day is just around the corner. But my philosophy is if you're with the one you love or if you embody a spirit of love, every day is Valentine's Day. Every day is the day that you can share with your loved ones, how you feel about them. Just those simple little sweet nothings along the way. But this is the time when everybody comes together and acknowledges. Same as Christmas. Every day should, you should give and love and celebrate the birth of Christ like Christmas. However, that's the time set aside that people celebrate it. So with Valentine's, same scenario. Although you may say, I share love and I do love. You know y'all, y'all real deep ones. I do it all the time. I get that, sis, but this is the time. This is... 214 is that day that everyone comes together, they're showing love, they're doing their thing, unless you one of them after girls and you do 215 or 213, but for me, I'm the wife, sis, and I'm going to do 214 and every day before and after, right? So, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I hope you guys found this video to be entertaining and informative at the same time. Thank you to Teddy Blake for sending me out this beautiful, beautiful handbag, honey. I am so loving this. I will be rocking this if we decide to go out. And which we probably will. We probably do like a day date and then end it at the house. You know what I'm saying? So restaurants will be packed and I'm just not... That's not what I want, but you do you and have fun doing it, okay? So, I hope you all have enjoyed today's video. Come back tomorrow because I have some more holiday styling or Valentine styling to share with you guys. It's still grown and sexy over here, so you don't want to miss the last two videos. There are two fun collaborations that I want to share with you guys, and I think you're going to really, really enjoy both of them. So, until the next video, guys, I want you all to stay safe, remain royal, and have yourself a blessed and most beautiful beautiful day. Oh, if it's your first time and you like what you see and you see what you like, y'all, king, queen, hit that subscribe button. Click that little button twice. Go ahead so, and do that so that you know every time I upload new content and you won't miss out on anything. And if you haven't already, guys, connect with me on my other social media platforms. Your girl this is just trying to build it up over there on Instagram. I'm doing my thing on TikTok. So I want you guys to join me over there at Royalty Designs with Trevina on all platforms. So until the next one, guys, which will be tomorrow, have yourself a great night. Bye. Thank you.